3K 3Y install video for PS3 Slim. First up, I'll talk you through the components. First up, you have your micro USB cable. Here we have your dongle. You have various FFCs here. This is your power cable. Remote. You've got your micro SD card, which, which you need to put your bin on. The 3KS mainboard. And your, and your slim daughterboard. Okay, we will get on. I'll show you how to put the bin on your SD card and then we'll get on with the rest of the install. Okay, now that's done, we can get on with the main install. My cover's currently loose at the moment, so I just need to lift it off. But what there is, there's a number of screws on the back, all around the edge, and then there's smaller ones across the front, okay? Once that's done, turn it over, you need to disconnect this white cable to allow you to pull out the power pack. That means you can then remove the cable from your Blu-ray drive, which is going to your motherboard. Okay, next up, you need to prepare your board, like so. So your FATA FSC goes from flat slot there and across. It's fairly easy to do. Next, right, then you take the cable that's going from your Blu-ray drive goes to to drive on the board with the blue side up. Next take your fat FFC and that plugs into the motherboard. do this when you're filming. Okay, once that's plugged in, that then plugs into the other slot on your board. Once you've got everything plugged in properly, you can then... Oh, right, first up, you then need to take your power cable, plug one in, removing, first removing the Blu-ray cable, which then allows you to then plug this in there, and you plug it. into the right and then plug the smaller end to give power to your board. Once that's done you can then place your power pack Plugging in anything that you removed, put this button back in. So, okay, then you need 
to take your small your thin FSA and your dongle, making sure that the blue is pointing away from the console or pointing towards the female end, like so. Now what I do is I plug it into the front port here, but what there is is some air vents underneath, so you pass it through. an air vent, pass it through and allow you to plug it in and so you can plug it in and that, and just route that round just so it doesn't catch on anything we would like to tape everything down so it's not vitally important plug that in blue side up. Now lastly, before we close up, take your SSD card, just simply plug it into the slot. Now what I like to do is take some, put some insulation tape and you just tape everything down just so it gets, keeps it out of the way so it doesn't snag or or any anything. So the most important one really I guess is this little thing. And you can tuck in behind there. It's completely out of the way, everything's taped up and all good. Put some tape across these as well. Just pop that off for the minute, just so I can take that down a bit better. Also, what I suggest is you can also take the board down slightly, stop that from moving. Okay, once that's all done, you can take your micro USB cut or cable, and your remote, and then obviously plug them
into your dongle. Like so. That's it. I would suggest you check if everything's working before you close up. And everything works the same as for the fat. Thank you for watching.